guys, my project Sash, and I'm at Astrovex's house. <laughs> hey, what's that? I'm vlogging. Yeah, you probably want to start again now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I've managed to get it working on my phone. What? It seems to be going. Hello. But yeah, Hello. I am physically here. I That's haven't edited in. <laughs> We've been having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird to have you here, like, physically, like... I'm the, glad you, I came. Yeah, you know, like, you know, the hologram, like, oof. <laughs> hey, howdy, hey, my name's Astrovex. How you guys doing? And I've had Project Sash in my house. Uh, Project Sash is a good friend of mine. We've been talking on YouTube for about the last year, year and a half of just... You know, ever since I started doing Let's Plays, I think it's when we started. Maybe a little bit after that. And every day we've talked about our channels, what we plan to do about channels, just YouTube in general. YouTubers that we like, videos that we got planned, what we can do to make them better, always giving each other advice and just chatting and hanging out on Skype and Facebook and whatever. And then I thought like, well, we both live in the UK, we could hang out. It's not an impossible idea that we could hang out one day. And there was a Comic Con coming up, so it was this case of just trying to find time to set aside to hang out and do stuff together. And it was really cool. It was actually pretty damn awesome. The fact that like someone 120 miles away, you know, like actually came to my house. Like they, they were in this studio with me and stuff like that. It was it was beyond. It was just crazy. And they were a chainsaw wielding maniac and they didn't kill me. Hooray! Uh. So like I met her in Cardiff off the station and we just like hung out all day and just talked about all the ideas we had. We talked about other YouTubers that we wish could come to the UK to hang out with like Kylo Swell and our friend Game Wolf. Their channels I'll put down in the description. You guys gotta check them out. Very underappreciated channels. I'll put, you know, Project Sash is in there, Tylos and Game Wolf. Just check them out, please. They, you know, they they have like, they're just because they're a tiny channel doesn't mean they don't have anything to offer. They're actually pretty damn cool. Okay, so get on that. So we went to Comic Con with my friend Dan Loaded. He'll be in the description as well. And it was a cool, it was a cool experience because it was the idea that if I wasn't a YouTuber, if I wasn't someone who uploads as regularly as I do with a sort of a, a social presence on the internet and being on Twitter and inter interacting with people that like what I do, I wouldn't have had this experience. I wouldn't have had this thing of meeting someone so far away. I wouldn't have had this thing of collaborating on ideas and actually inviting them over to hang out with me. And yeah, we were gonna do some Let's Plays together. We were gonna do some like two-player stuff, some stupid games or whatever. And they just never happened because the first day she came over, we didn't get in until late into the evening until actually like show the house and like how everything worked and everything. And then we started watching movies, we started watching like horror films and we had like a Saw, a little mini Saw, ma Saw movie marathons and stuff like that. We watched Nightmare Before Christmas and we watched it on Blu-ray and it was like holy shit. It was like watching the film for the first time because it was like so pristine and it just fit because it's Halloween, you know. And like I said, we went to Comic-Con with Dan Loaded and uh, like Cardiff Comic-Con is, uh, is a little bit bigger than the one that um, Project Sash goes to, the one in Bristol. And it was a case that she said like a lot of her friends don't really like the same sort of stuff that she does. So it was cool for her to come and hang out with me and Dan Loaded so she can get a bit, you know, involved and like check out the merchandise and buy some cool stuff. I didn't really buy anything. I just got like badges and I think I got like a Game Boy game from like 1995. <laughs> And there was a second day of the con that uh, Sash was going to come to with me as well, but she I think she picked up a bug or something. And she felt really ill the next morning. So she wanted to go home, and that was totally understandable because I would not want to, like, drag her around the second day of Comic-Con and not fully enjoy it. So I made sure she caught her train and everything. I made sure that, you know, text me when you get home and all this sort of stuff. And, you know, make sure you don't miss anything, don't fall asleep and things like that. Because she was, she was really ill. She was, like, puking and stuff. Yeah. And on the walk back when I was like just walking around Comic-Con by myself because you know for, like I was in Cardiff and it was like I might as well just like walked around and I didn't take a few pictures and things. I took some pictures and stuff you know there were some cool things going on there. And what really sprung to me was the idea that like just on the just on the whim of an idea uh. I met someone on a different side of the continent to actually hang out and it just came from just collaboration and communicating. And that is something that YouTubers in general don't really do enough of. And I find that really sort of disconcerting for what's considered a YouTube community. Because we're not really that much of a community. We have a thing of like, oh, I, I praised your video, so you should praise me back. Like, no one really is interested in making a lot of friends on here. I've noticed that. The ones that I like being friends with are people that I admire. Like I said, Tyler Swell and Game Wolf and Dan Loaded. Like, they're tiny channels. But Dan Loaded has been my friend for like 14 years, so obviously he's going to be like, friend of mine and I'm glad he's doing YouTube. It's something that he enjoys doing like to start off with. Tylo Swell and Game of the Tiny Channels, but I consider them friends now. You know, I consider people that I enjoy talking to and I like hearing from them and stuff like that. I'm not trying to gain anything from them. I'm not interested in gaining anything. I'm too busy laughing at them half the time. <laughs> it's kind of like when you was in school and you'd watch your friend do really cool on a game or they'd be really fun on a game. And that's what like Let's Plays should be sort of about. Like obviously we have our people like Jack and Mark that we admire in a sense because They've, they're funny, they bring entertainment, 
the good looking, which I am not. I am not. I'm hideous. Get away. But I always love it when you find those channels where it's the person that you really feel comfortable watching because they feel like a friend. They feel like someone like you sort of hang out with in school and it's like, hey, do you want to play Crash Bandicoot or whatever? Or like, hey, do you want to play Resident Evil? Like, even if you're not like playing it with them, you're just watching them play. It's that sort of feel that I like having. It's not always about the people with like a million subs who do these let's plays and whatever and do, like, I don't know, sketch comedies and stuff like that because they're entertainment, if that makes sense. It's good to be fans of these people, but I also like being friends with these people. Especially when we're on the same sort of level because me and me and Tyler Swell and Sash and ever, we all have like a very similar sense of humor. We like a lot of the same similar games and everything. We all have a goal of not caring about being popular. We wouldn't care if we got like a million subs. We, we don't want to be the next PewDiePie. A lot of us just want to have fun playing games and sharing that. And that's kind of what YouTube should be, just sharing, you know, just experiences, whether they're works of art or, you know, entertainment or music or as recently as just like sharing gameplay and just having a good time. And just having a friend on in the background and just watching them do well at something. So yeah, I consider Project Sash a good friend, I, you know, and just the fact that we, you know, she was in my house, you know, hanging out with me. It was just like, I would love to be able to do that with everyone that I kind of know on the internet because a lot of you guys live far away. I, like, some of you live in Scotland, some of you live in Japan, some of you live in Switzerland, some of you live in in the UK, but like really far away, like 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 on the other end of the island. It's like, where are you? It's, 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 I, I was just thinking like, no, it'll never happen. It'll just never happen. And it did. And it totally did. And I'm, I'm still psyched about it. And it's one of those memories I'm going to have by knowing that the, the, what I do on here isn't a waste of time. So I guess one of the things I could take away from this is the fact that like there's always opportunities to make friends no matter where they are in the world and there will always be some and if you can ever find some sort of way of meeting with the people that you admire go for it. Just just do it because you may never you know oh I, I can't even put into words like how much it meant to be able to like actually hang out with someone who was so far away and a way I had only watched through a screen. I only talk to a webcam like I'm talking to you. And talking into my handy dandy microphone here. Like obviously you want to make sure it's someone that you're, fr you're friends with and you know that they're a legitimate person so you're not being catfished or being caught out or whatever. Always go with friends and stuff like that. Make sure it's always a reliable thing that works. So it's not a chainsaw wielding maniac or whatever that's coming down the train station after you like Bruh! and you're like no. Nah. So I guess the main point of this vlog of this rambliness that I've been trying to get out for the last how long have I been doing this video for? I have been doing this video for two hours! Holy shit! <laughs> Just yammering into my Logitech camera. <laughs> so I guess what I can take away from this is that it's always cool to collaborate, not just in a YouTube sense of like, do you wanna collab bro? Do you wanna do a let's play together? No, to actually like collab physically in the real world is something that's so remarkable when it comes to having actual YouTube friends and people that are, you know, in, in some sort of proximity close to you to be able to do that, so Next time me and Project Sasha, we're gonna, you know, do videos together, like actual let's plays and stuff. Maybe just just more fun stuff because it was just, I think it was just the wrong timing. I think this more of a, this was more of a visit to actually get used to each other and hanging out. And another thing, this was the furthest that Project Sasha ever tra like traveled anyway. Like I, she had, like she'd never been to where I live before. She's never been to Wales before. So yeah, I'm proud of her. The fact that she managed to travel this far and meet a guitar playing doofus nerd and just be like chillax and watch like horror movies and stuff and go to Comic Con and meet my friends. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I've been talking for like 65 million years now. So all I really want to say from this is I had a really fun time hanging out with Project Sash and I actually heard that. Tylo Swell might be coming to the UK and he's like one of my favorite YouTubers now. And if he ever comes anywhere even close to where I live, I will I will I'll have to kidnap him and just like make him do videos of me because it'll be the funniest thing that anyone will ever experience. <laughs> now I see Game Wolf and Project Sash and anyone else that I'm really good friends with. I just want to meet all of you. I just want to meet everyone that I talk to regularly with. I do, like I said, I do consider you guys friends now just because, you know, you know, you, you're far away doesn't mean that you have any less relevance in my life. You know, I talk to you through my phone, I talk to you online, I'll talk to you on Skype, I'll talk to you guys on anything. Because I value time with people and this is something that I've been trying to do for the last few years is trying to get used to people and trying to be a bit more social and if there's like a cool way that I can be social then I'm gonna totally run with that. And that's true for a lot of people on YouTube and the internet and being socially awkward and anxiety and depression and things like that. You know, if you can find someone in this world that has a common interest to you, that like a lot of the same things you do, that can identify with you on some sort of level, whether it's your sense of humor or your hobbies or your interests, 
know, whatever happiness you can get in this world, whatever works, as long as you're not hurting it anybody else just go for it because you never know what might happen it could be something super memorable like i've kept the train tickets for when i actually went to meet project sash because that will have great emotional relevance to me like later in my life the fact that like wow just on the whim of my idea i met someone miles away who i've only ever known for a screen so you just never know what if you know take chances do crazy stuff make crazy friends do crazy things life's too short to spend it alone with your thoughts when you could be sharing those thoughts with other people who are having similar thoughts and yeah you know i'm sure even chainsaw killers have friends you know you know they're not many but they probably go to lunch and stuff why am i bringing up chainsaw killers i think it's because it's halloween <laughs> it's like i'm thinking of like chainsaw mask and stuff and freddy krueger and things like that so depending on what time i put this out what did you guys do for halloween or what are you going to do for halloween or, or do you have any sort of halloween routines do you have any favorite costumes that you might have made do you ever plan any crazy parties and stuff i like to hear about this sort of stuff especially like ha halloween and christmas things and birthday things i love all that sort of stuff it's great so with that being said thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it give it a like and if you really liked it i guess you could comment or subscribe or share with all your friends. So that was that. My name's Astrobex, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, I love you, bye! Does this look like I'm talking into a robot penis?